I've said it before, but I think this section on the gospel on the right in The Divine Conspiracy is a little dated. In fact, it's strange. Dallas probably wrote this in the early 90s, that is, this chapter on the gospel on the right, but the book doesn't get published until 1998, and already almost by that time, the issues that he's dealing with in this book had ceased to be as mainstream as they once were. For those on the right, the issues really used to be forgiveness and going to heaven when you die. And the question that was still somewhat unanswered was, what kind of faith do you need to have to get those things, forgiveness and heaven after you die? And I think that's the thing that's changed. Not so much the faith issue, but the whole um, center of what is at stake. And that, of course, makes a difference in what it means to be saved by grace through faith. <laughs> from the Martin Institute and Dallas Willard Research Center at Westmont College. Hey everybody, welcome to the Sanctus Forum. I'm Michael Stewart Robb, better known as Mike, and I'm outside, which is usually a recipe for a very difficult video, but we'll give it a shot. It's beautiful most of the time here at Westmont College. It's been rather cold. It's actually warmer in Germany at this time. And so for that reason, I'm looking forward to getting back there. But I'm here doing a metaphysics project for the Dallas Willard Research Center. They brought me in to dig in the Dallas Willard collection. There's some videos about that on the Sanctus forum. But, you know, I just want to say thanks to everybody who writes little comments and adds the discussion on the YouTube videos. Um, I know there's not a possibility to do that on podcasts, but on YouTube videos there is. And thank you for interacting with me, answering questions, asking questions. Yeah, just being present. Um, I really appreciate that. So we are doing the conspiracy commentaries here, if you haven't figured it out, talking about Dallas Willard's The Divine Conspiracy. Um, and we're in a section here, chapter two, um, in the middle of talking about the gospel on the right. And this is a tiny section called Salvation Cut Off from Life, in which Dallas Willard mainly just quotes Charles Ryrie. Now, Charles Ryrie is a dispensationalist theologian. He passed away, I don't know, in the past 10 years, I believe. Now, when Dallas Willard writes this in the early 1990s, Charles Ryrie was still alive, and it probably not directed primarily at him. Ryrie is just simply a good stepping stone to critique a much larger movement um, which you kind of have to put a bunch of terms together to make sense of it, but it's a post-World War II American evangelical movement, what Dallas just calls the gospel on the right. And Ryrie is particularly good um, at being a stepping stone for Dallas here because Ryrie is very clear about what he thinks all of these elements of salvation mean. And we've talked about that in other videos, so I'm not going to go into that again. But in this section, really the question is, what kind of faith? And ultimately, that is the debate within this movement, is what is the faith that you need to have to have this salvation that we all believe is the salvation in order to get to this place or to this future, which we all believe is the future. Now the point that Ryrie is making and that Willard is applauding him for is that there are all sorts of true things that you can believe about God and about Jesus. And not all of those things will lead to any salvation whatsoever. Now this is a point that John Calvin makes in his Christian Institutes of the, Christ Institutes of the Christian Religion. 
He just says there's there are many kinds of faith, and we want to find faith in Christ clothed with his gospel. Because if you get the kind of faith wrong, you will cut yourself and others off from the salvation that you and they need. That's why it's important what kind of faith you actually have and what kind of faith God is actually saying, I like that. Give me that. But I think that in the churches that are a part of the gospel on the right or just more broadly orthodox churches, the central issue is no longer that of forgiveness and going to heaven when you die. I rarely hear a gospel of heaven preached in the churches that I attend or ones that I'm aware of or just listening to preachers online. Rarely hear that sort of thing. The defining issue today, I believe, is participation in church. Now, whether that's made sense of in terms of fellowship with a particular church or made sense of joining the mission of the church, that is the main thing that churches on the right are inviting people into is participation in the church. That's what they think is central. So when you ask the question from past two sessions, what kind of salvation? The salvation is maybe a salvation from loneliness into fellowship or isolation into fellowship. Or it's a salvation from purposelessness, aimlessness, maybe selfishness into mission, into activity towards an end that God has in mind, meaning. And both of those come together in this form of participation in the church. Participate in the church and you will be a part of a fellowship and you will be a part of a mission that are bigger than yourself. That is the gospel that I think is being preached today. Now you will still hear a little bit about forgiveness and a little bit about heaven. Those things are sort of sprinkled in there, but the core of what's being taught is you can participate in church and that means fellowship or mission. I think if Dallas Willard was writing this book to the churches on the right today, he would say, you can participate in church and consistently show little or no behavioral and psychological difference from those who do not. You can participate in church and hardly have a whiff of Christ-likeness about you. So the issues are shifting, but they are not shifting in direction towards transformation into Christ-likeness. I think that's just what he would have to say. And in fact, after he wrote this book, he did go on to say those sorts of things. And you can find those in his audio recordings if you're willing to look. Well, uh, that's it for me here at Westmont. I've got a couple more days here to... Um, do my research and hopefully we'll find something good. Pray for us and thanks for subscribing. Sanctus.institute. That's where you'll find our almost monthly newsletter and keep up with us. See you next time.